Reagan is the quintessential con man. He's the definition of silver-tongued, often squirming his way through tough situations by constantly thinking one step ahead. He embodies the idea that if you act and absolutely believe that you belong, no one will question you. He's manipulative, cocky, a pathological liar, and Mob's perfect mentor. Because Reagan really embodies the main theme of Mob Psycho. That for all of Mob's so-called power, it doesn't really amount to anything in the end. Don't get me wrong, Reagan is still very much a con man. He offers his services through his spirits in such consultation office, despite not actually having any psychic ability. But rather than just taking the money and running, ultimately he actually gives his patrons what they requested, just not in the way they thought they wanted. He proves that you don't need to resort to the supernatural to fix your problems. That solutions are there and are easily attainable through normal means, simply if you put the effort in to find them. Really, he cons other con men by depriving them of would-be marks by actually solving his customers' issues. This is where Mob comes in. He's always considered his power as more of a burden rather than a gift, and as a result shies away from them. No matter how strong people say he is, his powers can't get him the one thing he truly wants, the affection of the girl he loves. Reagan, however, instructs Mob not to get too ahead of himself. He says, we were born in special powers that other people don't have, but we mustn't let it get to our heads and think we're special. People who are fast, people who sing well, people who are book smart, people who are good at talking, and people who can use psychic powers. You can't put one over the other. Being confident by your powers is fine, but you mustn't get conceited. Reagan's message is kind of corny, but it also rings true. That people are special in their own unique ways, and no talent supersedes the other. Mob draws inspiration from this and feels more comfortable embracing his psychic powers as a result, at the same time striving to improve his aspects that are lacking. Reagan himself has the gift of gab and has found a way to use it to both make a living and better other people's lives. Finally, Reagan as Mob's mentor offers something intangible but undeniably essential, the presence and support of an adult. Compared to Mob, he has a wealth of experience that is paramount to them succeeding in the end. He recognizes that the situation they find themselves in is not in any way suitable for a couple of middle schoolers who are not mentally ready for something quite so heavy. To him, middle schoolers shouldn't have to worry about toppling evil organizations, they should be learning in school and having fun with their friends. And he's right. As Mob's percentage rises scarily closer to triple question mark, he shows Mob the same thing he's shown all of his customers. That another solution, running away, exists. It reminds me of when my dad would help me study for math late at night. Frustrated, I'd choose a random answer choice and just hope to be correct. But my dad would always ask me, why? After a few seconds of trying to stammer out an explanation, he'd tell me, you know, it's okay to say you don't know. And I looked him in the eyes and said, I don't know. And he said, good. Then we can go from there. Reagan's role is to see Mob struggling, to see him trying to fix everything by himself and ask, why? He is the essence of the idea that your talents and ability don't make up who you are, it's what you do with them. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And of course, if anything I said was wrong, I'm sorry. I must have stuttered.